when you do a genome or transcriptome sequencing or resequencing or variant discovery you often come across two very important terms sequencing depth and coverage of sequencing most of the times they are used interchangeably but they are not the same while planning the genome sequencing experiments each of these two should be considered critically for reliable analysis and make solid conclusions in this video i will explain in very simple terms the basic difference between the depth of sequencing and genome coverage and why they are important. Sequencing depth refers to the number of times a particular base or sequence in a genome or transcriptome is being sequenced. For example, if the sequencing depth is 50x, it means theoretically each base of the genome or transcriptome is expected to be sequenced 50 times. Sequencing is usually performed as small or large fragments called as reads. Read depth is a similar concept which tells you how many times a particular genomic region is sequenced. But why do we need to have genomic regions sequenced multiple times? As you all know most of the genomes or gene sequences are quite large to be sequenced in one go by the existing sequencers. So the genome is fragmented and then sequenced and reassembled to form a genome assembly. And also errors during sequencing do happen. And sequencing the genome just one time may not give complete and accurate information. Going for a higher depth sequencing or deep sequencing is especially important for variant discovery or identifying alleles and disease diagnosis where you need to see for a specific mutation which is in low frequency in the sample. Having it sequenced multiple times gives you more reads and more are the chances that each allele or variant or mutant is sequenced. Genome coverage or gene coverage on the other hand refers to the percentage of the total genome that is being sequenced. So if the genome coverage is 90%, it means 90% of the genome has been sequenced at least one time. Genome coverage is an important consideration particularly when you perform whole genome sequencing or full length gene discovery. So that's all for the today's video. You can also check out my videos on bioinformatics, research, publishing, markers, genetics, plant tissue culture and other related topics at Explore Bio with Dr. Abhishek. Thanks and see you in my next video.